when we left the first game, we just, we kind of, yeah, amazing. The whole team um, are super excited to be back on this. Um, and it's good being able to go straight in with Guardians because uh, Guardians 2 is such a great movie. Um, yes. So we kind of kick off the game with Guardians, but the story flows between, I think it's something like 35 different characters that are in and out in the yeah. core story arc. Um, in, in a whole new adventure. Um, you know, the, the main bad guy this time is, is Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. And we're not just saving the Earth this time, we're actually saving the entire Marvel Universe. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's pretty, pretty epic in scale. Yeah, so is it literally, every, is there anything in Marvel off limits or you got it all in here? We've got pretty much everything we want in there. <laughs> um, you know, and in terms of like an open world, we're going on a, on a huge scale. We've got a, this place called Chronopolis. So yep. Uh, comic book buffs will know, know this is Kang City. Uh, 20 different Marvel environments, and it's it's about it's about time. Um, all these different you know characters and environments from out of time is, is everything that we're looking to do here. Um, so it's it's a joy to go back to this universe, and I think you know since we've announced the game, people are just so excited about everything that we're doing. Oh yeah, no, I can't wait to see sort of uh, where you guys are going to go with it. And again, with Lego, you getting the fact to you can tra transition between so many different characters. Uh, Hot Swap, obviously inspired by Guardians here, but I know we're going to get to a lot of other uh, cool characters. And oh, yeah, definitely. The key art definitely has, uh, you know, everything uh, involved in a cool way. Yeah, and that's it. You know, the fact is right there on, on the box art, um, you've got Spider-Man 2099, and, and, it, and it's that thing. You, you've got Captain America, you know, Wild West Captain America, um, you know, Kirby's classic version, um, and everything. Is, is in there, you know, a complete mix-up of, of characters. But the characters also bump into each other, which is yeah. really, really cool. So you're going to have different versions of the same character from out of time interacting with each other <laughs> and, and, and having that, those sort of riffing off each other. It's, um, it, it's great. And the humor is obviously something that's, that's key to the LEGO games. Well, and, and creatively for the TT Games team, I'm sure this is a title that allows you a lot of freedom where sometimes you guys have done, you know, more literal kind of movie translations and things like that using dialogue from the films and obviously still have a lot of fun with them. But this one, you really got to sort of do whatever you wanted, right? right yeah, at, yeah. And, and being able to go off of a blank piece of paper, um, you know, basing the story, or you know, it's kind of inspired by a couple of my favorite uh, comic book runs, uh, the Kang Dynasty being one of them. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing is we got uh, Kurt Busiek, who's the guy that wrote those runs, to kind of come in and co-write the story with us. And, yeah. you know, it, it kind of has that authenticity that you can't get without a Marvel comic book writer. So, yeah. you know, the, the, the interactions between the characters, the way that, that they kind of affect the whole story, um, it's really epic. And we wanted to make sure that the story was, was king in this. So there's some like awesome plot twists along the way. Um, you know, kept, you know, opening the game with a boss fight against the Celestial is, is pretty epic, but it just goes bigger and bigger the longer you are in the game. Um, I, I, I can't wait for people to play it. And E3, obviously, we've got real life consumers. Yes. First time ever. I'm, I know. I'm kind of. I'm kind of excited and scared at the same time. Friends and so. family will all be there uh, yeah. checking it out, which is cool. And I mean, this is, as you said, like a truly, you know, epic scale. And that's why I think the Lego, people say Lego games and like, well, you know, I'm not sure. And then they see it and there's so much detail, yeah. so much love and care that the TT Games team uh, always puts into it. You never get bored of Lego because it's like <laughs> you can do so much with it. And you guys have refined such an amazing style uh, to how these games play. Look, I mean, look at the amount of action on screen here. Well, that's it, um, it's the yeah. amount of stuff you can interact yeah. with. It's just a it's so huge cool. amount of stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, every character as well has a, a unique personality because people know these characters from, from screen or from, from comic books. We need to make sure that every character sort of does exactly what someone that plays the game is gonna want them to do. So, you know, Star-Lord can fly around and do all that cool stuff they've seen in the movies, yeah. but he also can, put his Walkman on and, and listen to his mixtapes. And every character gets that treatment. You know, the, the roster is like huge, absolutely huge. And it's still not finished, to be fair, because <laughs> people keep sort of messaging us. It's like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if this character's in? Wouldn't it be cool if that character's in? And so we're kind of just adding characters all the time. But um, yeah, the team have kind of fully engaged with this, mainly because we knew we were going to come and make this game kind of four years ago. So Wow, it's been really four years you guys have been had on the plans. Marvel 1, yeah, it was, yeah. what was it? It was the launch of PS4, wasn't it? So yeah. 20, 2013, uh, October time. Wow. Um, 
And yeah, the post credits for Marvel 1 set this game up um, right at the very end. And yeah, we knew where we were going with it. You gotta have the end credit scene, right? Just like a Marvel film. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, you know, true believers stay yeah. you know, past the end credits. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an absolute delight. But for me, it's all about giving you know, the players what they want. Yeah. Um, and then they've asked for a bigger open world, a bigger roster, more varied you know, personality within the characters, and, and more new gameplay. Right. Um, so we, we're really pushing the envelope on this one. Um, and also with a comic book style, we've kind of shaken up what, what makes a Lego game. Uh, yeah. Kept the DNA of a, of a Lego game, but tried to make sure everything has, has had something new and exciting from the customizer to the status screens to so the, just actually the way the Rost is implemented. Um, it's, it's a pretty exciting game to work on, actually. Absolutely. Well, it looks like there's a lot going on there. Uh, <laughs> very cool. Arthur, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Thanks, Jim. Give us a sneak peek at yeah. uh, 